Welcome to Recreating Hacks. In this episode, we will be recreating the infamous I Love You virus. Uh, this virus was a fairly destructive virus um, that spread uh, during the year 2000 and the estimated damage is somewhere around 15 billion dollars so it's it was quite destructive um, I've made a replication somewhat it's uh, fairly nerfed uh, as you can see I've already made it it's over here so I can show you how it works before we start making it um, but I've nerfed it a bit because the game is fairly unstable and in early access so um, we don't want to delay development by destroying the game too much with our viruses just yet uh, if you decide to make the virus more potent after watching my tutorial I hope that you will be careful so that uh, we don't destroy or break the game too much okay so enough said um, the virus worked like this you got an email from um, somebody, your friend or whatever, uh, which uh, was named I love you. And uh, in the text was kindly check the attached love letter coming from me. And then there was a uh, file called love letter for you dot txt. Then it was dot something else as well. Uh, I didn't add that because dot txt is of course even less suspicious. Uh, then the person would grab the file, put that in their computer, which I've already done. And then they would uh, click on it to uh, look what uh, the interesting text file would uh, contain. So let's do that. We'll check it out. And as you can see, it's starting to do stuff in the terminal, which is weird. If we check in here, we can see that our files in on the desktop are getting replaced uh, or at least changed they look different um, and that's essentially what the I love you virus did it uh, replicated itself onto the system and replaced uh, the other files uh, with itself so as you can see here in the config folder as well um, everything has been replaced with um, copies of the uh, I love you virus okay I guess we'll get into coding this thing oh yeah one other thing that uh, is part of the nerf I nerfed the copying so that it doesn't destroy the system completely uh, all the normal commands are intact and so on uh, if you wanted to you could make it spread even more but as I said in the beginning be careful um, the way I made it it only affects the uh, user's home folder and destroys everything in there which I believe is pretty uh, terrible in and of itself usually players have all their hacks and scripts in here so if they run this uh, it's gonna ruin everything um, yeah, something else that the real virus did was that it spread automatically, so um, once somebody ran the uh, uh, virus, it would send a copy of itself to all of the person's contacts. Uh, and that was the way the uh, virus spread. So everyone got an email like this and the curious people looked at it. Uh, I did not add any kind of spreading in this virus for the same reason as I mentioned earlier I don't want to make it too potent or too dangerous so it simply destroys the user's computer and as you can see all of the files now if you try to open map it starts the virus so everything has been replaced by the virus okay sorry let's get back to the coding so Oh yeah, I added something down here as well. Uh, this is my own touch. So, kindly share this love letter with your contacts to get your files back. 
it's a scam of course but uh, i added some kind of uh, spreading so some uh, gullible people might I, I doubt it but let's say somebody decides to share this in hopes that they will get their precious files back that they worked so hard to script or whatever. So we'll do that as the first line. It's the... way the... Uh, the virus spreads that I made up. Usually, of course, it would be automated, but uh, to nerf it, I uh, made it so that the players has to spread it manually. Next up, we'll do a variable with the computer, like I always do. So this is nothing new here. This is also a fairly short script, actually. So um, we'll do get tell dot post. Computer, which is um, just getting the computer object and saving it in a variable called Google Comp. Then I want to grab the home folder, which is the folder that we want to destroy. So uh, everything, well, not, not the real uh, home folder, I guess, the users folder. Maybe we should call it user instead user folder and we'll do computer dot file and then just home there which is the uh, user folder so you could call this home or user it doesn't matter you can call the variables whatever you want of course um then we'll do love as a variable for the Uh, virus and I think it's program path yeah so this just grabs the path of the program that we're running so therefore we're copying the file that is being run or well we're saving the file that's being run we're going to copy it later then we will do files user dot get files we'll do folders user dot get folders so this essentially just grabs all the let's see here so we, we are now in uh, the home dear uh, hack our user folder and uh, by doing user get files, we're grabbing all the files inside this folder. And by doing user get folders, we're grabbing all the folders in this uh, folder. Then what we'll do is we will loop all the folders. Uh, so for folder in folders. We're just grabbing all of this, uh, these folders, putting them in the variable folder uh, via the for loop. And then we will take the content of these folders. So, for example, all of these viruses that have been replaced in there now uh, on the desktop. Uh, we'll do folder dot get files this will grab all the files inside of all these folders so first the desktop then the downloads then the config and the for loop and then we'll save that as files but since we already saved stuff into files, we want to add these files to the files in this uh, folder. So we, we essentially want to add up all the uh, files in the entire home directory. Uh, and the way we do that is by doing files plus... So we have all the files already, 
then we add the new files and then we save all of that into the variable again and so the next time it uh, the for loop uh, uh, selects a new folder the uh, files we have already added will be uh, uh, in this variable and then we'll just save on the new fi files onto that as well until everything is added up okay and then we'll do for fi file in files so now we you know that we have saved all the files uh, in all the folders we'll do a for loop to and go through all of the files and then um, we will copy I think yeah I think so so we'll do love which is the file or the virus the virus file and then we'll do copy because we want to copy this file and replace all the other files. So we just copy uh, to uh, the files path, which is parent path, file dot path. So we have the path to the file, for example, um, File Explorer is uh, Home, Dear, Hack, Desktop, and then File Explorer. And then we select Parent Path, which is the parent uh, folder or path uh, to the File Explorer, which would be just ho Home, Hack, Desktop. So that gives us the um, directory where we want to copy love. And then we'll do File dot name uh, for the name we want to uh, put uh, or uh, what we want to name the virus when we copy it so since we're just replacing these we want to name them the same thing therefore we use file.name to get the name and just use that again that's pretty much it actually there's there are of course more things you could do with this you could make it even more evil um, but for now I think that uh, playing it safe and nerfing it a bit is uh, better for the game. Having something like this spread everywhere is probably not good for development. Uh, yeah, so let's try the... Let's uh, replace the virus with our own new code that we just wrote and see if it works. So we'll run the love letter and as you can see it's now oops that's wrong let's see here yeah you can see it's it's replacing them um so it seems to be working and it will copy these as well or replace them There we go. And it says kindly share love letter with your contacts. And if you start, try to run it from anywhere essentially, it will just start again. If you try to open the file explorer, same thing. We can still get the programs from here though, which is nice. Um, mail.txt I mean e everything is compromised compromised essentially it just starts the virus um, yeah I think that's pretty much it so now you've learned some history about one of the worst viruses of all time, 
the I love you virus. And you also know how to script something along those lines in Greyhack. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.